Uh, hey guys, welcome to another Liberation tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at how to add the Zeus in or give you more commands and more um, more ability to use it. So here we go. So I'm just going to show you first of all, um, I do have my uh, test server on, as you can see here, Liberation Altus. Uh, if we load into this I'm just going to show you what what you get at the moment and um, if you was to load in obviously um, following my previous videos uh, you would have got this this far and you would have got into the game and you'd be able to play the game etc but you wouldn't have the um, use of Zeus yet um, just to look around in it kind of thing so in order to use Zeus you have to go in the uh, pl uh, platoon leader the commander slot so click in there hit OK wait for the file to load up should take a second probably count at about 10 by now um, so yeah here we go starting to receive my file now obviously bear in mind that I do keep changing my files around and stuff so this is probably why it's um, not there at the moment <coughs> but right it should be done in a sec and then I will be able to show you it's quite simple um, right so here we go so I'm gonna go in here wait for it to load up wait for it to do its little funky screen flying around the aircraft carrier. I think it's the USS NIMS, I think I think it's called, or something like that, I don't know. But um yeah, all them choppers and stuff you can change on there. I'll do a video a separate video on them as well. Um just to show you right, here we're going guys, right, so let's just um get down to the air carrier and I will be able to show you. Right, so so to get in Zeus we're gonna press Y Obviously, it'll bring up this, and you'll have your little Zeus icon at the top. Um, as you can see over here on the right, right hand side, uh, top top right, you'll have like your little man uh, units and your groups, uh, modules, markers, and recent. Um, obviously, all these you can click on, and there is nothing there in this side column. Now, I'm going to show you how to use these. Obviously, you get your markers there, but um, that's about it, really. Um, but yeah, you can't use your modules, can't use your groups. Um, yeah, you can't can't use none of that. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to put that in. Right, so, let me get out of that. And I'll disconnect from that, because that will be going back off. And just to show you, look, there was my server. Freak is in, was in. I've just disconnected at uh, 15.20. It's now 15.20. Well, 15.19. And 55 seconds. <laughs> But right, so let's just turn that off. Right, so first thing you're going to do is you are going to head to where the server was installed. So um, for me, if you if you was watching my video and you installed it the same place as I did, you're going to go to your C drive, click on that, then Arma Free Server, click on that, go to um, Steam Apps, Common, Arma Free Server. And then we're going to head down to MP Missions. Um, obviously, if you've put yours on a different hard drive, it'll be exactly the same route as trying to get there, just a different hard drive um, or location. Um, so, right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to unpack your PBO. Obviously, you need PBO Manager for this. Go down to the bottom tab, click on that, and we're going to head in here. We are going to copy the mission file, so the mission SQM, copy. We are now going to head to um, our documents. So head to wherever your documents are. You want to go to Armour Free Other Profiles. And then you want to click on your relevant name of whatever it is. Obviously I'm Freak, so I'm going to go in Freak. We're going to go in MP Missions. And we are going to, um, in here we're going to create a folder called... We're going to call this... Um, uh, Lib.altus. Obviously, if you're using a different map like Tanoa or something, you want to call the um, the part here whatever your map is. So t you'd put Tanoa there, or but don't forget it has to be dot Tanoa or dot Altus or dot Stratus or uh, wh whatever map it is that you're using. So go ahead and press Enter. We're going to go in this map now. And we are going to paste that file in there. Right. Once you've done this, we are going to head back into your um, Armor Free game. So if you haven't got it o open, go ahead and um, launch your Armor Free game you are going to head into editor so obviously our mine's already open here we go right so let me go back obviously if you're waiting for your um, 
armor to open, you are going to have to pause the video for a second. Um, but yeah, right, so we're going to jump into editor. We are going to go into Altus, because I'm using the Altus map, obviously like you guys. Um, you know, if you're using Molden, Stratus, Tanoa, or any other map um, that you might have down here, make sure you click on the right one. Um, obviously I'm clicking on Stratus, I had to think then. Um, Stratus, bloody, yeah, get me at it now. <laughs> um, Altus. Right, so we're going to go to Open. Up in the top um, left, we're going to go to MP Missions. And here you can see the file that I've just created. So we're going to double click on that. And as you can see, everything is on, the, on here from the map. So you're not going to touch anything on the map. If you look here, everything is on here. But what we're going to do is you're going to head to wherever you can see these symbols. Um, so we're going to head right down to the bottom here, zoom right in. And you can see all your player pe playable people here. And what you're going to do is you are going to delete these three files right here. So you're going to delete the players, um, uh, the player modules, the group modules, the object modules. You need to delete all three of them. Then you're going to go to this Zeus marker and you're going to double click on this and you're going to go to default options and you are going to click on all add-ons including unofficial ones make sure you click on that and click OK next thing you're going to do is you're going to head up to the top and you're going to press save so that's done so next thing you're going to do is you're going to exit out of that if you didn't get what I just said then just go ahead and um, go back obviously you delete the um, three that were here and double click on the Zeus uh, module and go ahead and click on the um, the default add-ons all add-ons including unofficial ones um, don't touch anything else in here just go ahead and keep, keep the commandant name and overlord and um, so yeah go ahead and press OK obviously go and press save I know I'm repeating myself but there's some people that will sit there and go oh my god he's going so fast but um, yeah right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to get out of this after you've pressed save and we are going to go back to the beginning yep right now you're going to click back off your screen so then you go back to your folder of where that was we are going to right click and copy the mission SQM that you have in your document um, um, I'm a free of profiles then your name then MP missions and then lib altus or whatever it is that you're using um, we are going to come back over to the um, the place where obviously we was before of where you got the mission file out so this is where your mission file was so we're going to click on that we're going to um, delete the old mission file we are going to paste the new file in which is right there as you can see and then we are going to um, from here we are going to need to alter something now in the scripts so what we're going to do is head in scripts server uh, game and then we're going to go down to the Zeus um, SQF here and if I drag this over sorry just make this bigger there we go right what we're going to do is we are going to head down to line 40 uh, what is this line ding, 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 line 43 and this part here we are going to change to this so we're going to grab this part here I will put this in the description so please make sure you do read the description and grab this part from out of there we're gonna copy this we're gonna come over here we're gonna paste it in this part here obviously make sure you just do this part here not that part uh, just the part that I've blacked out we're gonna paste and don't matter if it goes over there like that and um, go ahead and save and that is that part done yep right so um, next thing you do is go back go back give back yep um, go back to there and then we are going to stick our um, backup file into the backups folder if you haven't got one just go ahead and create one just right click new and that folder and yeah you're done um, but yeah go ahead and repack this PBO um, let me drag this over there we go you can see there um, liberation altar so we're going to press a go or launch and um, you're going to launch your server and we are going to wait for this to pop up and then we are 
gonna head back in the server and make sure it worked. If it didn't work, then fuck me, I'll eat my own arsehole, but I'm sure that ain't gonna happen. Right, as you can see, server's on. We're gonna load back in the server. Here we go. Right, we're going to head up to multiplayers. We're going to go to server browser. Uh, I'm going to go to my LAN because that's where it is. We're going to click on um, liber uh, Liberation Altus. We're going to go in there. As you can see here, we have the commander slot right here. We're going to click on there and we're going to go in there. Um, obviously, Zeus don't work with any other of these. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm 90% sure it doesn't. Obviously, it's going to make a new file again because obviously you've altered the file so therefore it needs to receive the file again um, every time you change something in the file it's going to do this right should be nearly done then we'll get the cruise of the aircraft carrier once again good old aircraft carrier as you can see I'm in the game freak boy gaming and here we go here's the aircraft carrier and now you should be able to place units and vehicles and whatever else. And I will show you quickly which parts to use and maybe which parts not to use. Alright, so we're going to double click on the operations base or wherever it is that you might be on the map. There's me. Wah! Right. Um, so what you're going to do is press Y. And as you can see on the right hand side now we have a list of vehicles and troops, helicopters, uh, men. Uh, if you go on the, this is all single um, people so like if you was to, um, let me just go over to the island, uh, which way are we that way, right, let's go over to the island and I will place a couple of things if I ever get there. Am I going in the right direction? Yes I am. Right, so what we're going to do is head down here and right. So, like, if you want, like, just one tank Ready. with a bunch of tr um, with some troops in it, um, you can put that down. Um, obviously, press delete on your keyboard to um, get them out. Uh, just right click on the things and then dra drag them onto the f um, page. I mean, I'll do Waiting it again. Uh, you can move these around. If you press um, shift and um, hold left click down, you can position the. Um, tanks like different ways um, I've always found the way it's looking is the way that um, or the way you put your scroller is yeah, generally where it will start looking um, you can make these uh, move on as the well way. by uh, clicking on the um, on, on the uh, so I say like if it's uh, empty like right now you can click on there and then you get the little green box that you've got now and if you right click the way. Um, it will move the troop or um, vehicle, whatever it is that you've got out. If you want empty um, units, then you, you can put things down for yourself or your teammates. Um, if you go over to the empty tab over here at the top right, the little, um, this would normally be like the props icon. Um, as you can see right here, you get the, um, you, you do get props as well in this. Um, but yeah, obviously as you can see, you do get um, the, I don't know why it's scattering out like that. There we go. Um, you do get like the um, uh, here we go, like N NATOs and yeah, you know, wh whatever mod you have on your server, it'll all pop up in here. So you'll have multiples of whatever else. But I'll just show you a. Um, so as you can see, there's a nobody in here. All right, so you can practically get out whatever you want. Um, obviously, in modules, you um, you get. Like uh, you can do like fire support. So I found like this uh, 155 millimeter uh, works uh, flawlessly. The um, sandstormy kind of thing is shit. Uh, the mortar's good, and these missile strike things never seem to work. I've no idea why. You can put down some smoke shells, um, so then smoke pops out everywhere. But um, I will probably limit the people that can actually use Zeus, um, which I'll show in another video about whitelisting, um, just so then um, you know you don't you don't get somebody on there who's constantly putting down a million troops and yeah fucking your server up basically. But um, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, yeah, you get all your um, stuff that you normally get on there. I mean, your gr groups as well. You can get like, um, oh, hold on. I don't know what just happened there. Oh, no, that's my, oh, let's get that off. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah right so you um if if you wanted a a, sl a, a group of Wait. tanks or if you wanted a group of uh, yeah, like uh, men Ready. then you can move these into position and uh, you can On make the them walk walk wherever it is you know that you're going until you know, flying yourself or whatever I'm just rambling now aren't I? But, um, right, anyway, guys, um, I think you pretty much get the gist with this. Copy and that. Let me just get rid of them. There we go. And I think you pretty much get the gist of that. And, yeah, I hope it helped. If it did, uh, make sure you give it a like. Um, if not, give it a thumbs down. Um, yeah, and like I say, the next video I'll do is the whitelisting. It's nice and easy. And, yeah, you should, should, should be fine. You should be nice and peachy with it. Right, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Um, see you later.